I was thinking recently about like social media used to be my escape because I used to work at, um, before I was at the bank, I was at an insurance brokerage and I was fucking miserable. <laughs> insurance <laughs> brokerage? I was a licensed insurance agent. Look at me. Hey. Damn, you did it. Huh. I was People miserable. People trusted health, you health this insurance? much? <laughs> it's not Jared from Safe Arm, it's Brittany. <laughs> it's <laughs> what are you wearing, what Brittany? Are you wearing? Uh, bell bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, a Princess Diana t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> a Bud Light sweatshirt. <laughs> no, but I, I literally was, you know, I was in it. I was in the, the trenches with corporate America, and it was horrible. I worked a customer <laughs> oh service God. job. Sorry. What? Tr- I just love the trenches of corporate America. <laughs> I was no, it's just a good line. $38,000 a year, working 65 hour weeks answering phone calls from oh pissed God. off middle-aged white people about their home insurance policies. So uh, they'd call me and be like, my, in Texas, my washing machine flooded my whole first floor and <laughs> God damn it, everything's wet. Is this covered on my home insurance? And I would have to pull up the notes where I have verbatim him saying, <laughs> "No, fuck <laughs> y'all's home insurance premium. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that coverage. Eat a dick. And I'd have to be like, sir, on this date at this time, you decline this coverage. And he'd be like, fuck you. I hope you die in a hole. Click. Oh, my God. That was what I did for nine hours a day. <laughs> I would have practiced my day. voices every yeah. phone call. Next, I yeah. did, you, did you ever my change name? it up? Uh, sometimes I would answer British. Sometimes, what, what got the best cool. like uh, result? So cool. Oh, when I acted Southern back to him. Because okay. I, I have a little bit of a Southern twang, but I would beef it up. I'd say, how y'all doing today? Okay, let's do Okay. <laughs> no, you got No, we're going to get the You got to beef it up. You got to match their energy. Because yep. if you come on like, thank you for calling, blah, blah, blah. Like, sorry, we don't do that. They're like, this stupid ass 20 something year old doesn't know what she's talking about but if I'm like and how you doing today and then, oh my god I had a puppy in the background you, know, you tell me how old it is uh-huh. <laughs> the whole experience is just better like it when is. people match my energy when I'm on a phone call it's like it's Absolutely. gonna be a good fucking phone call and shit's gonna get done some just, people get it, mad it just feels like better. people that have like angry energy it, then if you match their energy they get pissed off but We're sometimes you have energy. to when you they have be to like, they put them in check Absolutely. Yeah. I'd say sir if you're gonna keep talking to me like that I will end this phone call and you can call back and talk to somebody else very good and you can wait in that 30 minute and you can be on the fucking wait line for 45 minutes because I'm looking at the TV right now and it's She's a in the bathroom for that 45 minutes. <laughs> <on Twitter. laughs> and, and sir, we will put you on the bottom of the list. Oh, I used to do it too. I literally, this was before TikTok, but I used to be like, let me put you on a brief hold. I'm going to look into that for you and I'll be on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> that's that's very good. It's all a part of your customer. journey. Fuck I love the customer, that. bitch. Can, okay, I've always wondered, when, when you're on the phone with like a, a customer, can yeah. you hear them if you put them on mute? Like, or like not mute, but like hold. If I say, let me put you on a brief hold and I mute myself and they think that I put them on hold. You can hear them. Yes. Oh. oh. Okay. I've I'm, always wondered. I, I, Cause I've been saying shit and I'm like, I, I have a it, feeling they hear me. If you're hearing the hold music, they can't hear you. But if it's just, let me put you on a brief hold and it's silent, girl, they muted you and they can hear every uh, fucking thing. Oh, you're really? Me, every time they put me on mute, I'm like, I can't understand this Fuck guy. Fuck this bitch. Yeah, I cannot <laughs> Even understand Even with the no, music, I go on mute because I still feel like they can hear everything. It depends on the software. Did you customize your own like playlist for like mute? It's like, <laughs> all right, I'm going to put you on hold. I love it if we make it. <laughs> it's just it's like, no, like, what? <laughs> yeah. The Verizon no. ring back. <laughs> like, you know, that whole thing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> The fitness grand pacer test. <laughs> no, they literally sometimes would be like, fuck this company. They don't know shit about what they're talking about. Sometimes I'd be like, ooh, we're ooh. disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, the wall Vicky block. Call you should, you should <laughs> come back and answer the, the call like, call failed. <laughs> it, it'd be so funny. <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to say something. <laughs> you good? You good? Okay, you done? No, I was thinking it'd be funny if like you picked up the call like, talking about something that they had just said like i know it might not, not seem like we're doing much over here or anything but like and then like you saying like you clearly heard yeah, them you referencing know what I mean? something this is, so your hair appointment next week i hope you look real pretty when you're done something like that <laughs> something they were just talking about yeah no i um it was tea and sometimes we would do this they would call in they'd be like i got in a wreck and i'm like well shit sorry I'd be like, let me call you because we were a brokerage. And if you let's have a quick little insurance lesson. I, Our audience I, I need to insurance. Learn this. Please, okay. I'm trying to learn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we, we need this. An insurance brokerage is someone who works with a bunch of different insurance companies. So like Progressive, State Farm, you know, all state. And they flow. And they find you again. yeah. And they find you the best price for the literally the same policy, just a different company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's where I worked. I worked at, at an agency at a brokerage. So they would call us and say, you know, blah, blah, blah happened. Or if they just have general questions about their policy, I could answer it. Yes, this is covered. No, that's not. Here's what your monthly bill is. Yes, this is the credit card on file. And then um, if something actually happened, so if they got in a wreck, if they're, oh, my God, my back, I'd be like, let's call the, Let's call Progressive. So we would link Progressive <laughs> and I'd be like, let's file the claim. I would merge them and mute myself and I would waste an hour. Just I would be listening in. Yes. Oh. Doing nothing. <laughs> what company time? Oh, I would do the why, same why thing. Do you, yes. Why do you listen to the phone calls? Just so I want. Well, I wanted the tea first of all, and second of all, we weren't supposed I'm nosy. to do that. I would have done <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, so you're, nosy. Yes. Your boss would come by. You're like. <laughs> and sometimes they'd talk shit about their agent like at my agency they'd be like my agent wrote this fucking policy and he is so stupid he doesn't return my phone calls and, this, and progressive would be like I know we don't like your agency and I'd be like ah! yeah. <laughs> I got it agency too Damn. And so um, that was you, co- you come right back and you're like I agree with you, baby. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true. Just a hype man in the back. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that's true. Free. And so um, that was part of it. And they would tell us not to do that because they're like, you could be answering 30 other calls while you're on hold with this. And I said, I girl. Could. And you I know could. what else? They would tap into our phone calls. <gasps> well, that's okay. I mean, you're to working. See how you're doing? Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, eat my asshole. Surprised. Yeah, that's bitch. weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's an invasion. It's micromanaging. It's an invasion of privacy. Yeah. It's a lack oh, of trust. Go through okay, training yeah, yeah. and then trust them. That's exactly. It. I is thought that, those calls were like, always like, recorded. Is that what, for like some they are calls recorded, like, uh, recorded for quality insurance yeah, or whatever it, for training purposes? And right. I'm not kidding. Like when I was going through training, <laughs> they use that as as an example. Just like don't do. Imagine them showing like your fucking audio calls as training. Is that pretty broskies? Yeah, they're too distracted because it's you. God. Is that what? I've gotten a couple mentions on Twitter of like, I work at the same company you used to work at. I see your fucking name that says Brittany Tomlinson inactive. And I was like, ah! Inactive. Inactive. Because I got fired. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever put, like, you do an accent, you put them on mute, and you, or you put them on hold, and you come back, you have a different change accent. Change the accent. You change the accent. You're like, oh, let, no. me, let me transfer you to the uh, <laughs> supervisor. She can't remember which one she was doing. <laughs> Ned. <laughs> She's like, Mrs. Doubtfire, just trying on different character that, oh, like, you, I'm doing my SNL audition on them yeah. <laughs> what y'all think of that they're like can you just give me my fucking <laughs> Amy Fowler calls and you're like oh shit this is my moment y'all <laughs> that would be Lauren a great Michaels, that'd, be a, 